see. There it is again. Looks to me like a plastic surgery scar. I'm sure she looked like Emily to begin with. I want you to see it, Nicholas. Hey. Hey. Don't you ever touch me again, lady. Look, look, Alexis was out of line, but you overreacted. She has a scar on her hairline, <laughs> which you just assume is plastic surgery while you're a real piece of work. Well, you know that? well what is it? What, what, what's the scar? When I was 10, I fell off my bike. I landed on my head. Can you expect us to believe that? Oh, go ahead. Pull out your checkbook, Nicholas. To hire a PI to dig up the whole story. I fell on the sidewalk by the Kramer's front yard. Mrs. Kramer picked me up, rushed me to the emergency room where a special doctor stitched me up. I think he was a plastic surgeon. Wow, Alexis, you're right. I have had plastic surgery. I'm not buying any of it. <laughs> Obviously, no matter what I say, you're going to turn it against me. No one situation. Rebecca, I want to believe you, but now, she has you know every what? right. I don't give a damn. I moved here to work at the hospital, and then right away, you were right after me, stalking me, obsessed with me, wouldn't leave me alone. The truth is, I felt sorry for you. And then you helped me through my cancer scare, and I was grateful, but now it's over. I'm done. <sighs> okay, you've known me for months, and in all that time, I've been totally straight with you. If you don't trust me now, then you never will. I think it's understandable, but I have questions. Yeah, and I've answered them. There's nothing more I can say, but you're still suspicious. I mean, why should I be surprised? Your family's so screwed up, there's no way you could be normal. Psychotic grandmother, paranoid aunt. You can call me whatever names you'd like. I have every intention of protecting my nephew. Oh, protect him? Great. Protect him from what? Now, obviously, I'm supposed to be some evil manipulator who's taking advantage of your attachment to your ex-wife, but name one thing that I've tried to do to you. Well, she obviously knows that the best defense is a good offense. Maybe you're so obsessed with Emily because she was the one person who could make you believe that you were better than all of this. That somehow you could avoid the curse of being yet another whack job in a whole line of crazies. I don't know. I don't care. You keep saying that, but you're still here. I never asked you for help. You came to me. Do me a favor. Leave me alone. If she is innocent, I may regret what I just did. Ah, I see you've managed to locate St. Gregory. Yes. You know, legend has it that the good saint was able to predict if you're going to heaven or to hell. You sure you want this on a wall? Oh, staring yeah. down at you? You are beginning to sound like Natasha. Oh, that miserable creature. I should have destroyed her years ago. If it's any consolation, she feels the same way about you. Oh. I wouldn't mind seeing the lovely Rebecca again, however. She brings back such fond memories of dear, insipid Emily. <laughs> Why do you really want this painting? Well, nostalgia, I suppose. No, Grigory's life was, was intertwined with that of our ancestors. Mm. You did say they were raised by wolves. Well, in my lifetime, legacy is beginning to matter. Now, looking backwards allows one to look forward with greater clarity, wouldn't you say? Why do I get this eerie feeling that this is going to come back to haunt me? It's wonderful to see you again, my darling. Well, please give our beautiful little Spencer a big kiss from his Grammy Hella. Some help? 
And I dropped my sunglasses when I got off the launch. That's fine. Yeah, I was so ticked off I wasn't paying attention. I'd be damned if those people cost me the price of a new pair. Here they are. Thanks. You know, for what it's worth, my brother's family is certifiably whacked. Oh, gee, you think? Murderous, scheming grandmother, paranoid aunt? Just the tip of the iceberg. <sighs> now you're scaring me. I love my brother. He, he means well. He's definitely the best of the bunch. That's not saying much. He doesn't mean to be suspicious is what I'm saying. You know, it's just how he was raised. Lucky, it's really nice of you to stand up for him like that, but I can't deal with it anymore. No matter what I say or do, Nicholas just keeps thinking that I'm some criminal who's out to rob him blind or mess with his head. I understand you're frustrated with Nicholas, Don't but... Don't make excuses for him. Done with Nicholas and his family. Including me. That depends. I mean, is there anyone on your side of the family that I should know about? Any relatives who've committed murder? <laughs> Been institutionalized? <laughs> How much time do you have? Uh, 